I want to go back and do one last video related to the factors that affect mean arterial pressure. Mean arterial pressure is super important, right? Um, can't be too high or too low over time. And we're going to talk next week about all the factors in detail that can alter this. But I want to go back and give you a big picture um, for now. So remember, cardiac output is the volume that is um, put out from the heart um, in a minute, and that's used to talk about cardiac cardiovascular function. And systemic vascular resistance is this. Systemic is all the resistance that the blood encounters during circulation. So it depends on the length of the tubes, what the tubes are, the constriction or dilation of the tubes, um, et cetera, viscosity of the blood. Um, and then the relationship between these, I've already told you about, right? Mean arterial pressure equals cardiac output times the systemic vascular resistance. We are going to assume that the pressure here, um, pressure, right, pressure here equals zero. It almost always, this, this venous pressure here is going to be zero. That's why we can assume this. Okay, so we care about thinking about this resistance is going to be key for altering um, our cardiac output and our blood pressure, which are two things we care about. So let's look at another way of looking at this. Mean arterial pressure um, is a function of cardiac output and peripheral resistance. Here it is, mean arterial pressure is a function of cardiac output and systemic vascular resistance. Um, so as arterial volume increases, pressure increases. That's what's shown here by these like little lines here. Um, in this image here, the ventricle represents this syringe that's pushing this way, like the heart is a pump. Um, it's pushing pressure into these, el these elastic arteries and the variable resistance is screws. So these are adjustable screws that represent the adjustable level of resistance, adjustable resistance um, of peripheral resistance. Then this is affected by both that input and that output, right? You can imagine if you decrease this resistance, pressure here is going to decrease. If you decrease cardiac output, you're also going to decrease mean arterial pressure. So this is one way of visualizing right, the, the two factors that go into MAP. Um, you also can here see how important that elastic arteries are. They're going to be able to expand and recoil and maintain blood pressure instead of just have that, be, um, that pressure be, be lost. So here is a preview. Don't get scared. This is what we're doing next week. Oh, it's so fun. Um, so here we're looking at, first of all, down here, this is the same thing I just showed you. Mean arterial pressure is a function of cardiac output and total peripheral resistance. As these two increase, so does this. This is um, increasing TPR or SVR, means decreasing the size of that adjustable screw. You also, already know this, right? You know the relationship between heart rate, stroke volume, and cardiac output. You also already know this, right? We talked about these three factors that affect total peripheral resistance, diameter, viscosity, and blood vessel length. This one, and you can see it here, being the most important that can be regulated. These two are not gonna be things that change in a healthy individual. They're clinically relevant though. Well, mostly this one. So what that leaves, is the rest of this for next week. Um, we are going to look at, well, actually, you already have this one done too, right? That one we did. We're going to look at hormones, ANP, um, other hormones. Where do we have um, cardio acceleratory? So medulla, which we've already talked about some, but this is going to be the main focus of next week, as well as, oh, I should have, I should have circled that too. We should have diameter blood vessels in here. So the mechanisms, 
by which the endocrine nervous system and some autoregulation affect stroke volume, heart rate, and the diameter of the blood vessels. And this is a nice big picture diagram to show why we want to alter those things. 